Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial, designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 interior. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 041 underscore BIAB underscore I. You can also download this file from the website. Double click the ground floor plan view to open the ground floor. Go to the architectural tab, building panel, and click the components. Go to the property palette, click the down arrow to see the different family that you have, have lo you have loaded into this project. All of these family are not suitable for our project need. So go to the load, click the load family button. This brings the load family dialog box. Double click furniture and double click bed. Select the this the last two bed by selecting the first one and hold down control key select the second one click open these beds are now loaded into the project click into the guest room to place the bed click the load family button again double click the furniture folder double click table click the first desk use your arrow key to notch down to see the preview of the different table that you have Select the coffee table, hold down the control key and select the dining table over. Click open to load this into the project. Place the coffee table into the living. Go to the project browser, click the down arrow and select the dining table. Place it into the dining area. But the table orient in the wrong direction. Press the space bar to flip the table around and place it. Click the modify button. Click the components command again. Click load family. Hold down the scroll bar and double click the furniture folder. Double click the city. Select the first one. Use the down arrow key to scroll through the. Select the second to last. Hold down the control key and select the third one. Click open to load this family into the project. Place this family. Press the space bar to flip this around. Place this family here. Press the space bar. Place this family. Click the modify button. Click the component command again. Click the load. Hold the scroll bar to scroll down and look for specialty equipment. Double click specialty equipment. Double click domestic folder. Select the kitchen small and the kitchen medium because we are not sure which one will fit, to, will fit best to our project. So I will advise to load both of them. Even though loading both of them may increase the size of the project. Hold down the control key and select the dryer and click open to load this into the project. This dialog box tells you that you have a family with the same name already exists on your project. Just click the first option. I think the kitchen small may work best for us. Press the space bar to flip it around and Paste, click near the wall to replace it. Select the kitchen, click the down arrow and try the kitchen medium to see the result. I think we're going to use the kitchen medium. Go to the modify panel, zoom in into this area, click the edge of this wall and click the kitchen to align it to this wall. Click the modify button. Go to the architectural tab components and click the load button. Hold the mouse cursor and scroll down to plumbing. Select architecture. Select equipment. Select fixture. Select back top. Select top freestanding 3D and click open. Click the load family again. Hold down the scroll bar and move down. Double click the plumbing folder. Architectural fixture. Select the showers. Click open. Zoom in into the area and click inside this toilet. Click the load family button. Select the plumbing, architectural, fixture, sink. Select the sink, vanity, square, and click open. Click anywhere into the project. Click the load button again. Hold, scroll down, plumbing, architectural, fixture. Double click water closet. Select the toilet, domestic, 3D, and click open. Zoom in into this area and place the toilet. Place another one into this area. Click the modify button. Now select this bed. Move the bed up by click and hold down the 
left mouse button. Go to the modify panel and select the mirror pick axis. In the option bar, uncheck copy and flip this bed over. Move the bed up into the guest room. Nudge down the bed, click the modify button. Select the bathtub, the shower, click edit type and change the value to 2 feet 6, 2 feet 6. Click apply, click close to return to the project. Go to the modify panel, select the align command. Click the edge of this wall and align the bathtub. Click the edge of this wall and align the showers. Click the modify button. Select this door. Select the align command. Click the face of this wall and align the door to this face. Click modify button. Select the door and flip this door outside. Select the toilet seat. Click the rotate command. Move down into the bottom and click. Move to the right. When you see 90 degree angle on the temporal dimension, click to rotate the toilet. Use the move command to move the toilet away. Go to the modify panel and select the align command. Zoom in into this area. Select the edge of this wall and the edge of the toilet. Click the modify button. Click the align command. Select this edge and the edge of this toilet. Select the zinc and go to the modify panel and select the rotate command. Click at the bottom to rotate this to 90 degree. Click the align command. Click the edge of this wall and align this object. Click this toilet and align the zinc. Click the modify button. The toilet is too tight for this tree fixture, but we're going to use this for the sake of the tutorial. Go to the quick access toolbar and select the dimension command. Click this grid line and this grid line. Click the center of this table. Move the mouse cursor away and click the EQ button. Click the modify button. Select the dimension and hit delete. Click on constraint. Select the align command, click the center of this table and this sofa to align it. Perfect. Zoom in and select the edge of this chair and the edge of this chair to align both of them perfectly. Lock them to constrain both of them. Use the align command, select this table and the chair, lock to constrain them. Click the modify button. Go to the project browser and lock click the first floor plan view. Go to the architectural tab and click the component command. Place this seat. Zoom in and place the seat here. Place the seat here. Click the modify button. Go to the ground floor plan. Zoom in into this area. Select this toilet seat. Hold down the control key. Click the zinc and the showers. Go to the clipboard panel and select copy. Click the down arrow under the paste command. Align selected level first floor plan view and click ok now go to the first floor plan to see the result go to the architectural tab and click the component click the down arrow and select the bathtub place this bathtub into this bathroom click the down arrow scroll and select the select the king size bed and paste it into this room click the down arrow and select the queen size bed, place it into this room. Click the down arrow and select the select the double bed and paste it into this room. Click the modify button. Use the align command, select the face of this wall, select the face of the bed. Click the modify button. Select the bed and nudge it to the left. Select this bed, nudge it to the right. Select this bed, go to the modify panel and select the rotate command. Move and click at the top. Move when you see the temporal angular dimension display 90 degree. Click to reach it to the Use the align command. Click at the edge of this wall and click to move the bed to the wall. Go to the quick access to and select the align dimension command. Click on this grid plan, grid number two and grid number four. Then click at the center of the bed. Move the mouse cursor away and click the equal button. Click the modify button. Select the dimension and hit the left on your keyboard. Click on constraint. Select the bed. Notch to the left to move the bed away. 
select this bed and nudge up to move it away from the wall. Select this bed, nudge down to move it away from the wall. Select this bath up and click the rotate command. In the option bar, click on the angle input and type 90, press enter. Click the align command, click the face of this wall and the edge of this top, face of this wall and the edge of this top. Zoom in, select the face of this wall and the edge of this toilet seat. Click the modify button. Select the toilet seat and move it to the right. Click the modify button. Go to the architectural tab. Click the component. Click the down arrow. Scroll down and look for a zinc. Select the zinc. Hover the mouse cursor into this one and press the space bar. Press the zinc. Click the modify button. Select this door. Click the temporal dimension and change to change to 18 inches. Click to place. Change the value to one foot. Zoom out. Right click the wall. Grid similar. Draw a wall from this point to this point to this point to this point. Click the modify button. Go to the quick access toolbar and select match property. Select this wall and select this wall. This. Click the modify button. Select the wall and move this wall down. Select the wall and move this wall. Select this wall. Change this value to two feet. Click. Right click this door. Great. Similar. And use this wall as a host. As you can see, the door is bigger than the host instance. Click delete. Now, I'm going to right click on this door. Click similar. Go to the project browser and select 40, 72 by 80. Move the mouse cursor and place this family. Click the modify button. Select this family. Go to the project browser and change it 48 by 84. Select this wash and basin. Select grid similar and paste it. Avoid the mouse cursor into this one. Press the space bar to flip, flip it and paste it here. Click the modify. Select the showers. Grid similar. Click to paste this shower. Click the modifier. Click the align command. Select the face of this wall and this wall. Click select the face of this wall and this wall. Click the modify button. Double click the ground floor plan to see both the to see the results in the ground floor plan. Go to the default 3D view. Click the close hidden window and click the zoom extent. Click the save button and the quick access to to save your project. Alright, we're going to end this tutorial here. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friends. If you have any question, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.